Hi guys, welcome to this episode of the Andro English TV. So I haven't done a video in a while because it's winter and I can't really think of too many videos. So today I'm going to do a knot tying video. So today's going to be a little bit different. We're going to do fly line to monofilament leader today. So first of all, I would just get probably about four to five foot four to five foot mono leader. I'm just gonna leave it on this. So I don't cut off any line or anything, but it's probably really, really hard to see this. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Hopefully you guys can. It's really really thin. But if not it you pretty much tie it right next to the fly line anyways, so you just stick your mono next to the fly line. Hold them both very tight, tightly together. Then you make a loop. Hold both the mono and the fly line. So you have that loop right there, the mono and the fly line. Actually, we'll make it a little bit bigger so way you guys can see it. If I can do it here. So there we go. Then you just wrap your tag ends of your loop around both your mono and your and your fly line. So just wrap it around. And then I like to put the tag ends through twice. So we'll go ahead and stick both the tag ends through that loop. There's the first time. And then you wrap it back around both of them. And put it back in a second time. So after this, grab both your tag ends out of the loop and you pull the mono and the fly line nice and tight. So let me do that real quick. And then, with as you guys can see, that's really, really tight with a pair of scissors or a knife or something you guys can cut these little pieces off so I'll go ahead and do that real quick there we go then you have your nice nice strong fly knot or leader knot so then I don't usually use tippet line I know a lot of fishermen, fly fishermen do. I just use fly line to a mono leader. That's what I used to go fly fishing with. This is four pound. Usually when you're fly fishing you can go from like four to eight pound leaders. Or if you're fishing big game you can go probably up to like 20 or 30 pound. So this is just for probably trout, shiners and stuff like that. And then if you're looking to do a uh, larger, larger larger fish species you go obviously up in the poundage of line that it can hold so this is just four pound line hopefully you guys can see it but it's just four pound line and as you can see you're probably going to want to cut let's see here about three to four three to four feet off there just that way you know that those fish won't be able to detect this bright orange line if I can get it over here this really really bright orange line they will not be able to detect that if it's pretty far away from the lure next to tie the fly on this is my fly box I don't have much I just started fly fishing probably only been fly fishing like probably a handful of times so I'm just going to tie one on real quick I'll tie one of these bright ones so you guys can see it I'll show you how I tie the line onto the fly so first of all you put it through the eye of the fly pull it out about two inches and you hold your tag end in the right hand and your main line in the other. Then you make an X 
and then you grab your fly so that way those and these two lines right here are nice and tight then you just twist twist your fly probably about four to five times then after that if you guys can see hopefully you guys can see this there's a loop right here on the bottom and that's where you put this tag end line back through so we'll put it back through that loop and then after that don't cinch, cinch down the line yet it creates a small little loop right here you're gonna want to put it through both these little little loops right there let me see if I can do that it's kinda really hard because I used to use six pounds so it's a little bit harder to see but then you just oh I screwed up here looks like we're gonna have to restart <laughs> but let me just do this real quick spin this put the line through do the loop closest to the eye grab your tag end keep that little loop open in between your thumb and then you just stick the line through those you hold that tag end and then you just pull your main line tight so then that will cinch down your knot and if it doesn't then you can use your your fingers too so there we go there's the knot you can cut off this this extra little tag end try not to cut your fly because some flies or most flies I know that are probably like four dollars a piece so there we go there's your knot for your fly and that should work for most trout maybe even small small smallmouth bass so that's why I usually use these for, or this, this particular lure, and most of these I'm going to be using for smallmouth. I haven't really gone trout fishing with any of these flies yet. I've only been one time trout fishing, so I'm going to be trying to land some trout this year, hopefully on it, or on some of these, and I'm also going to be trying to get a few smallies and maybe even a pike on my fly rod so anyways thanks for watching this knot tying video and i'll catch you on the next episode of the andro anglers tv